this is Morello Kane with the Hair Debate. I am here with Jay today out of Delray, Florida. Jay, how are you doing today? I'm doing good, and you? Yes, I am great. So we're just gonna set the tone with this music. Okay, we don't own the rights of it, but it sets the atmosphere right now with what's going on. Yes. We're going to be all right. Yes, we are. Yes, with this. I tell you, Jay, today I'm so excited. I'm excited too. Yes, Miss Jay. So now you're from Delray, Florida. Derry Beach, Florida, yes. Derry Beach. Okay, so now how's the atmosphere down there in Florida with, oh. you know, I mean, we're going through a pandemic right now. So it's how crazy. are you people responding to that? So we res respond like they want us to respond crazy. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> going crazy. We just had, um, we had a protest, I think probably like a couple of days ago in Derry. It was, it was a peaceful protest, but it was okay. protest. They, our voice is getting out there. No, absolutely. And so now, I mean, but it's crazy because with this going on, we just coming through a pandemic. Okay. Right. And so now our salons, like, are, are you guys opening back up? What's going on with we that? We are open. We have been open back up for probably almost a month now. It's been a month okay. since we've been, since my building been back open. Okay. Other okay. salons are open as well. Okay, okay, so now you guys having to change and get PPE equipment and all of that? Yes, a lot of stuff yes. has been changing. We can only allow one client in at a time. They oh, have wow. to, if we still doing a client, the next client have to wait until they car until we done with that client yes. that's in our, our studio. We have to clean um, after every client is done. So okay. yeah, they're, they're enforcing a lot of new changes. Okay, so now, how are you, how is the workflow with that? Because, I mean, I, you know, are the clients being patient with that? Or are clients, um, have they truly returned back? Yeah, they are. They've been very patient. They they understand what we're going through at this time. So, yes. they want to get, they have done, they have no choice <laughs> but to follow our new rules. I mean, this going to be in set in stone for a, a little minute now. We don't know when it's going to end. So, we, we have to. Abide by adjust. what they tell us to do. Yeah, we have to adjust. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. But when I tell you your work oh, is stupid, you, it, it you, is straight up ridiculous. When oh, I tell you, thank you, I love your work. So now your clientele, is it diverse? It is diverse. It's very diverse. Okay. I work in a diverse um, studio period. So okay. it, we have Jamaicans, Black, yes. um, Caucasians. So we're very diverse in there. Oh, I love that. I love that. Mm -hmm. And so the flow of the clients that's coming and going are diverse as well. Exactly. Yes. They're diverse oh. too. Okay. We actually okay. would take on probably another another stylist client if they're not able to um, accommodate that client at that time. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Really? Yep. Okay. So, mm -hmm. so now how's the feel of that? Because you know how we get. You know, I mean, we kind of get possessive of our clients. Yeah. So how is that? But it's it's more of I have to say it's really more of the Caucasian side. They okay. they um they really don't care as long as okay. they come out how they want it. They don't really care who do it to be honest with you. Because I have a few of them clients myself. So as long as I'm doing how they want me to do their hair, they're good to they're, go. Okay, so okay, so now, okay, so. They're comfortable in working mm -hmm. in, you know, with other styles of other diversities. They are. That is good because you mm -hmm. don't typically see that all over. You don't. You really don't. Uh, no, for real. You don't. And you know what? That was one of the things that kind of caught me this season. I was mm -hmm. just like, you know what? We have to address that. We do. Because, you know, and so now, okay, so we see it at Delray Beach, Florida, mm -hmm. you know, but now, and, and there's not to say that it's not happening anywhere. Everywhere. You know, right. you just don't really see it. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now how does the Caucasian clients, I mean, the, the stylists, how do they respond to that? Well, about what's going on now? 
No, well, regarding as far as I someone else taking another person's, you know, allowing them to service, you know, another, because again, when it comes to our industry, people tend to think that, you know, I mean, we could get very funny about our client going to someone else. I mean, a lot of them, they really don't say nothing. Not that it okay. probably don't bother them, but if it do, they don't, they don't mention it. You don't know. Don't, they, I don't know. Yeah. Exactly. 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 Just, just, you know, some differences that I see mm -hmm. that I'm just like, okay, you know, some good content, some things to talk about. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So that's now true. with the atmosphere that's kind of going on right now, oh my God, um, with the tragic death of George right. Floyd, mm -hmm. you know, um, I have to say it's nice to see that you actually work in a diverse salon right. because a lot of, you know, um, Again, as we stated before, you have a lot of salons that service clients that, mm -hmm. you know, resemble themselves. themselves. That's true. Okay. That's mm -hmm. what they're comfortable. That's that what is. people are comfortable mm -hmm. with. And so with that being said, with you having a diverse clientele, mm -hmm. what was the atmosphere of the salon when everything kind of hit the fan? To be honest with you, no one has wow. tried to even mention it. No one really? in there. Mm -mm. I don't know exactly. if they're afraid. I talk I talk about it with most of my clients because yes. we can relate. But Absolutely. as for other stylists in there, nobody has tried to mention it. Nobody has asked, oh, how do you feel? Or, no. I don't but know if you're scared. It, but you know what? It you know, it, it can become difficult. It can. You know, because mm -hmm. as I was taught in school, it was like, okay. You don't discuss certain things, right. you know, right. politics That's and the true. things going on in the news, so you know, when it comes to race, those are the things that you just do not, not discuss, mm -hmm. you know. And so I can understand how, you know, it could be difficult, you right. know. Um, and so, and that's what, you know, because I'm just like, okay, how can we encourage, mm -hmm. you know, other individuals to kind of break the ice? Right. So do you think that these things should be discussed? Do you feel that I think it's a they, line? I think they should be discussed um, every day. I mean, you have okay. people who, who don't really know nothing about it that just, just blank, period, don't know really? about what goes on in our world. Right. But when this stuff comes up, they're like, oh, what's going on? Like, you have wow. to look at it like they don't know. Wow. That yeah. is crazy. So it, it needs to be discussed. That is crazy. It needs to share light. So on. now, how how is the dialogue with your clients? How did you guys, I mean, do you, do you watch it on media? And then you guys, you know, what are their feelings about it? I think they're feeling how everyone is feeling. Everyone is, is okay. heated. We don't like okay. the situations. They want us, they, they need to stop, basically. Absolutely. We watch it on social media. We watch the news. We just watched his um, memorial the other day. They just yes. buried him in back in North Carolina. Well, he's getting buried in Houston, I think. Yeah, next, absolutely. To his mom. He's getting buried next to his mom. Oh, so, wow. Yeah. Yes. So a lot of, we do a lot of talking in there. I'm pretty sure okay. they can probably hear us because we get kind of loud, but <laughs> I mean, at this point, we don't care. That's just, how, that's just how our attitude is right now. With everybody. Absolutely. Absolutely. Everybody. You, you know what? Because my thing is that it should be discussed. Mm -hmm. And I know for individuals, when they have you know, someone of their servicing of the other of race right, right there, and they're servicing them, mm -hmm. you know, it's, it's all over everywhere. Everywhere. You know, I, I don't think the answer is to walk on eggshells no. mm -mm. And, and, and not say anything at all. Mm -mm. But now for individuals that that, you know, of the other rates. OK, right. I know that putting my my feet in their shoes because, you know, we can't say mm -hmm. that everybody is the same. Right. You, you know, mm -hmm. a mistake that one particular person made. You can't place it on the entire everybody. race feels as well. Right. But now let me just say this. I love looking out and just seeing the diversity of mm -hmm. the protest. I do too. Yes. Oh my yes. God. Yes. That is crazy. It's that is amazing. crazy. It's amazing. They and they need to take note for the people that that's are out there with us, that's standing with us. They have to take note. Absolutely. Exactly. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Um, and so, you know, say if what what is some advice that you would give a person that is servicing someone? 
of the opposite sex and you know it's just like okay you know when this atmosphere we're together you right. know we typically talk about stuff that's trending what's going on you know mm -hmm. how can they go ahead breaking the ice just to say okay let's move past the situation mm -hmm. or should they just not bring it up at all um that was that will really be up to them to be honest okay i feel like Absolutely. just trying to make them comfortable just exactly them, just exactly we with you and then that's when they'll be able to open up more with you absolutely that's, that's the first thing out advice i'll give to someone absolutely you know because you brought up you brought up a great point mm -hmm. um to me like you say how comfortable they are with you also too means and mm -hmm. how they trust you correct oh that's yes true. yes that's true wow wow and so i tell you tell us some of the things that's actually going on you know um i mean do you have anything that you're working on right now um i just launched my new hairline it's called lavish creations it's actually okay. me, with me and my mom it's our hair and lashes um company i just launched that like um two weeks ago i just started selling okay. hair my clients been asking to for me to sell hair for years and i said oh, i don't think i want to get into it because it's so much to it but when i yes. finally got into it i love it i love it so that's what i'm i'm still working on just still trying to build my brand basically exactly. yes when, mm -hmm. when i tell you your um the the you know your work itself is is crazy oh, i mean when i tell you the the level of it is is of excellence so it's I'm really nice. I'm, just, I I love live. I'm still trying to go up <laughs> okay so what are the hard one of the hardest things that you found with you trying to get this hair brand together um just basically trying to find the right vendor like hair okay. in itself is difficult you think this hair is good and it's not yes. like you have to try so much hair it's it it's more to it than just Easy. putting your name on some hair and just selling it because i don't want to okay. sell just any old thing to nobody right it, okay so now and that to me that mm -hmm. would make the difference of getting hair from you mm -hmm. versus someone else's up the street correct okay because mm -hmm. you know it, it's you install this hair all the mm -hmm. time okay right. And so is it just because, you know, you can get fooled by the feel of the hair. Mm -hmm. You know how a lot of people just, oh, it feels like this. Right. Mm -hmm. Would you say that that is not a, a great indicator or it, it could be? Yes and no. Because okay. it, may, it may feel right for a couple of days, but then down the line, it just gets shedding, trashy. Okay. When it, I wouldn't use it anymore if it's okay. like that. Okay. Good, so, hair, good, good hair should last you over a year. Basically. Oh, that's excellent. Yeah. That's excellent. Okay. It be it taking care of it and all of that. Take it should last you. It, basically, yes. Oh, that is excellent. Mm -hmm. And so now where would pe people be able to come and get this hair from you to order it? Um, as of right now, I'm I'm still working on my website, but I'm selling it right now in my salon. So they can either call me, text me to purchase, or just come through my salon and they can buy it that way too. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And so it's it comes virgin. virgin um, yes. Can you can you um, are you providing color to that as well? If they want color, it comes in natural black. But okay. If they want to if they want to get it dyed a certain color, that's that's a different price. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I love that. And so, I mean, it's it's, it's one stop shop that yeah, is great. Not, that's what I'm trying they to. They can do. come there and get your lashes. Mm -hmm. Your lashes are on point. Oh, you thanks, these are lashes. Hair. These are um these are over the top lashes. These are our over the top lashes. Oh, those are absolutely I'll beautiful. See you there. Yes. I, I I would have to. I would have to. You they have to check out my, um our our Instagram too, lavish creations. Okay, definitely. Okay, so go ahead and give people your information where they can let them know. Um, mm -hmm. because I actually met you through um one of the social media platforms, and you know, mm -hmm. like I said, you know, I, I definitely I love your work, your thank craft, you, you. and then um when we converse, you know, great connection. Right. And so definitely, you know, when you are out here in Atlanta, if you come to one of the shows, I would like to connect with you, possibly, you know. 
Um, we could do a, a you know face to face interview mm-hmm. and whatnot. Oh, yeah, I could kind of showcase if you bring any of your hair down here mm-hmm. when you're in Atlanta again. You know, um, I would love to showcase and and, um, and show that bring yeah. some awareness to your brand and what you're doing. Yes, so go ahead awesome. and give our viewers information out there for you. You know where they can contact you. You can find me on Instagram. My salon Instagram is J Monet Studios. My hair page is Lavish Creations on Instagram as well. You can find both of them also on Facebook, J Monet Studios and Lavish Creations. Okay, well, there you have it. Again, I thank you so much thank for you being for a part of this you. platform. You know, again, my name is Morello King. It's the Hair Debate. We're on all platforms. You know, you can locate us. And again, the hair debate, we are here yes. to debunk, debate, and discover all things hair. Okay, thank you so much, Jay. Thank Jay. You. We'll connect again. Thank you. Yes, Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.